so here's where I'm at. I'm working on um, cleaning up the frame, getting rid of all the rust um, on the trailer. I'm going to be painting this with bed liner. Uh, I like bed liner. I think it does a really good job of uh, it's really easy to paint with. Anyways, I'm on my way through this and that and I'm hitting this upper portion. I need to come up here and get that as well. My autofocus is turned off. Sorry guys. I need to get this up here. But I've wired wheeled a lot of this. Um that box right there I'm gonna cut out. Just have to get around to cutting it out. Um yeah, so I'm underneath here. I took the wheels off because there's a good amount of rust around here. So you might be able to see right there. Pretty big compiling, bubbling. So. Well, I've wired brush from here all the way back. I need to come in here. I'm cutting this off. I think it was for a set of ramps, which I don't have, nor will I need anymore. Um, I need to replace this one. It's a little too far gone. And then this one. I'll keep these two, and I have another two. But to do that, I've got to cut this block off here. Shouldn't be too hard. Anyways, let me get you down here. So, yeah. There it is. I will be, uh, I'm going to start, I'm going to blow this off with the air compressor. And I'm going to start bed lighting, working my way back. I need to finish this ramp but um, I'm just gonna wait a little bit to do that I need to paint these again I think they're a little too light I need to paint underneath I didn't paint underneath them but I need to paint underneath them and then I'm gonna start just working my way back so paints next There we go. Tell you what guys, look at that. It's not finished yet.
Oh, it's a cheap cardboard one. But I'm gonna put it in there. <laughs> Alright guys. So um editing this video, I realized that basically I never showed the trailer done. Um, what happened was I got a phone call um, or a text message and a friend needed needed the trailer and I was like, okay, yeah. Um, he was like, well, I can get it done in time. So uh, doing that means that normally I got into a groove and um, videoing is not part of that groove instinctively yet. So, um, there's a lot of painting and finish work that happened to the trailer that I actually don't have on camera. And I don't have the trailer anywhere close to me uh, to show you guys a finished product of it. But it looked really nice. So, um, the next video you'll see is me out where I store my trailer, where I store my tractor, at my friend's place. Um, and uh, you'll just see how the trailer does with loading a tractor on because that's pretty much right now what that trailer does it's for the tractor so hopefully that helps you guys out you're not lost of what's going on Now that was easy to load. Ramps come together close enough to load it just fine, so. So my friend has a 3500 and we're just going to put it up on the trailer just to see how the trailer does. Room over on this side is will blue's tailgate go up. Oh yeah, look at that. Now I can see up underneath there too. Well that's it guys. Um, the truck fits. Uh, and uh, the ramps went up and locked into place, huge deal. Um, 
because the last time I moved a truck with one of those these slant deck dovetail beaver tail whatever it is uh, trailers I ran into the issue of I think I had a ratchet the rear ramps up I don't I'm not for sure I don't think I have a video anymore or anything on that that's when I moved my dually hill um, there's just enough space that the front tire and the rear tire are all on that flat plane. Um, you guys can see that right before that the beaver tail drop happens. So I think overall it's one of the most useful mods I could have done to that trailer. Um, I think that it will just, it made loading the tractor super simple, way less nerve wracking. Um, anyways, so enjoy the last parts of this video. Um, walking around I thought I was taking pictures but apparently I was videoing and taking pictures so uh, you can kinda hear some of the commentary it's kinda funny but um oh and for uh, reference the 3500 Dodge his name is blue big blue so that's that's the owner's name for it so there you go thank you guys for watching um this is one of my first videos you come across which probably not because it's the third in a series, but if it is, I try and drop a video every Thursday. So uh, consider coming back next Thursday to uh, catch on the next one. If you guys enjoy this video, I'm trying to do more crazy stuff like this. Um, and especially when there's not videos out there on how to do it, um, I want to show you guys how I did it. So thanks for watching. For the front back. It'll just end up, oh man, that's a beauty shot right there. Look at blue. Something. Just do two side shots.